picked up this little heart mug for from um walmart for valentine's day it is so cute i don't know why i only get one mug um i should have probably got two just in case this one breaks i may go back and they have one in red as well but i like the white just the crisp and cleanness of it but yeah i'm about to make me some coffee and some breakfast and enjoy this cloudy saturday it looks like it's been raining too but yeah i don't i don't want to purchase a lot of mugs because i already have these and these aren't even the ones that i had when i first moved here i recycled a lot of them but um yeah i just don't want to go mug crazy and the ones that i don't use like these little small ones right here i'm probably going to recycle them or just save them or something like that i don't want to get rid of them because they're super cute but i tried to gift them to my daughter-in-law and she said um she had enough but yeah i might just give them to my daughter whenever she gets her own place this one says this girl loves sleep i got these from target and then this one says shopping is my cardio cardio and then this one says <laughs> grumpy but gorgeous and then i have these i got these from forever 21 it says all you need is a little love and coffee and then this one says hustle hustle it has i'm trying to do this with one hand y'all this one says hustle i got this from forever 21 two years ago before i even moved to austin And then this one, it says, just be you. And I got this from Forever 21 too. So as you can see, I have a pretty healthy addiction to um, coffee mugs. And this one I got from Target last year. It's the Opal House brand. This one is a Valentine's Day mug too. That's probably why I didn't get um, more than one and then this one says rise and thrive as you can tell pink is my favorite color especially blush pink it is my favorite color of all time so yeah as you can tell pink 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 <laughs> okay tonight we are doing leftover pasta that i made last night um this is um grilled chicken breast strips bow tie pasta with spinach um, alfredo sauce and um, cherry tomatoes. I got some garlic toast, which I'm not going to eat that because I don't like garlic toast warmed up. Corn on the cob, and I have my favorite wine, the blueberry barefoot fruit scotto. Um, Devin is at his gra uh, grandparents, I wish. Uh, Devin is at my older son's house playing video games. He's already eaten, so I'm just about to sit back, watch some Netflix and chill all right it is 6 15 a.m i just got an amazon prime order um yeah i did it yesterday but the only time it was available was this morning or early was today so um i just chose to get it delivered at six o'clock this morning since i'm up at six anyway so i'm about to unpack this stuff and put it away then get ready for work Okay, since I seem to be doing a grocery haul at 6, 17 a.m. in the morning, here we go. Um, I just got some sandwich for those quick and easy nights, some more ketchup. Um, we have to keep french fries because we eat a lot of french fries in the air fryer. Um, I got two boxes of this old El Paso um, fajita kit. Since they were only like $1.38 each, I just grabbed two. Um, I wanted to try this bird's eye loaded baked potato. It had a lot of it had a lot of good reviews, so I wanted to try that. It was a little pricey. This little thing was like six dollars and some change, but I love a loaded baked potato, so I'm gonna try that and see how it tastes as a side. Um, some more chicken nuggets because Devin was out, and with his autism, these are breakfast. <laughs> Um, I thought I ordered hamburger 
macaroni, but I guess not. But these are due because I think he's kind of burnt out on the cheeseburger macaroni anyway. So we'll that worked out perfectly. Um, some waffles, some um, peppers and onions for my um, fajita mix. I had a craving for some gummy bears. Don't ask why. Um, some eggs. Um, I wanted to make me some iced coffee with some caramel sauce. Um, because I wanted iced coffee because I'm kind of getting burnt out on hot coffee. So, I wanted to make me some iced coffee, some sour cream, and some bread. So, yeah, that's it. I'm about to put this away, then um, shower and get ready for work. I really want to get back in the bed, but it's Monday, so uh, I can't do that. Alright you guys, this is my desk area. I can't show too much because of HIPAA, but this is my little desk area here. Good morning you guys. It is currently Saturday, Saturday January the 15th. Um, today is sunny yet cold and windy. windy. Um, the temperature is 44, but it, they say it feels like it's more like 36 outside, 32, something like that, because the wind is like really kicking outside. Um, it's currently 11.09. I'm making me something to eat. I'm about to, I'm about to make some coffee and then I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the day. Um, update about my new job. I love it. Um, it's take, it's taking some adjustment because as you know, the whole learning process and all that stuff is kind of frustrating sometimes, but it's not overwhelming. It's just, I don't know this particular specialty. So I'm having to learn, you know, the ins and outs of like the therapies and stuff. Um, yeah, but overall it's still 10 times better than my last job. You guys, these are some of the prettiest eggs that I have ever seen. Um, this camera don't do it justice, but these are some pretty eggs. Like the color is like so pretty. Um, yeah, from Amazon Fresh. But yeah, these are some of the prettiest eggs I've seen.
I don't necessarily drink enough water or, or maybe eat right. So I'm starting to find that I'm just trying to do supplements and stuff to um, make up for my bad eating habits. And then I try, I'm trying this new um, white chocolate mocha from uh, International Delight Creamer. It's, it's pretty good. I, I had bought some Dunkin' Creamer that was like a cream and sugar already mixed in, but I didn't like it because it changed, completely changed the taste of my coffee. So, yeah. So you're supposed to use this, um, you're supposed to use this three times a day, but I only put it in my coffee in the morning because I barely, ugh, I barely remember to do it then. So mornings are usually what works best for me. And I always waste it. And then I just throw it in my coffee. <laughs> always shake your creamer. And bam. I always, I either pour too much or not enough. And some sugar. Okay. This is where my coffee gets extremely unhealthy <laughs> trust me this is where it gets extremely unhealthy and for and then uh, what is at the bottom okay let me do a taste test See if it's sweet enough. Alrighty then, we are good to go. The one thing I like about that cinnamon vanilla coffee from uh, Walmart, the Great Value brand, is that the cinnamon does not overpower the taste of the coffee. Some coffees, the cinnamon is like too much, but not with this coffee. I find that Walmart's like off-brand coffee is better than the name brand coffee. And Target too, that Good and Gather coffee is really better than it. name brand. All right, we got coffee and breakfast and I'm about to sit down and watch some TV. All right, you guys, I just went and did a Target um, pickup. It's currently 7.06. I just did a quick pickup order for a few odds and ends that we were needing around the house. Um, just my Clorox essentials. I usually use the Lysol laundry sanitizer, but I wanted to try the Clorox just instead. So, in, instead. Um, so I got the Clorox laundry sanitizer i like to use the toilet ones i don't keep a toilet brush that's just gross um some disinfecting wipes i like to keep these in the bathrooms just so we can periodically wipe down surfaces in between um the days i do the big clean on sundays um some hand sanitizer just the soft soap I got some toilet, I mean, sorry, I got some Clorox um, wet mopping cloths because unlike the original Swiffer Sweepers um, wipes, they don't disinfect. And I like to use these in the bathroom and in the kitchen. Um, just some gloves because I don't clean bathrooms without gloves on. Um, I got me some lotion. I really like this lotion. It's under three bu bucks. I've been using this lotion for a few years, a couple of years now. I really do like it. It's only $2.89, but it holds up against any name brand lotion. Um, it's the Up and Up brand. So, yeah, that's a really good lotion, especially in the wintertime. Um, got some popcorn. Devin only eats movie theater butter. I got me some fruit snacks. 
and I got him some gummy worms and some fruit gushers as well. I already gave that to him because we were feeling like having snacks and we were out. And then just some toilet paper. Um, a lot of the smaller packs of toilet paper were out and I just didn't want to pay $20 for a roll of big roll of toilet paper. It probably would have been more cost effective in the long run, but I was trying to keep it under 40 bucks and that's what I did. So, and then they had one, I had one more item. They were out. It was some, um, it was some, uh, cleaning stuff. Oh yeah. And I do like this target. I had got some bleach spray. I'm from Target bleach cleaner, but they were out and I just canceled it because I really didn't need it. I just didn't want to, um, I just like to keep an extra bottle on hand, but I also use this lemon scent, um, all purpose cleaner too, as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it disinfects and it's only $2. I've been using this for a good while too, for $1.99 and I do have... This is the cleaner that I originally wanted, the bleach cleaner, but they were they were out and I was kind of low, but I can wait. I'll get some sometime this week because I just like to spray this on in my shower on the tile to help get rid of some of the mildew. But yeah, they were out, so I'll get it at a later date. I also for forgot to get these. I like to use these to clean... Um, my bathtubs because I like to take baths and showers but when I take a bath I always follow up with the shower I know it's a lot but I just feel like baths don't get you clean showers do um but yeah I like these they're only like three dollars but I forgot to add that to my list so um I think I have a couple left yeah I have one left they're just sheets that you rip them off and you once you're done with them you just throw them away instead of that whole sponge thing because I didn't like reusing it on my bathtubs. But I do like these because you can use them for a couple of times or use them once and throw them away. So, yeah. All right. And that is it for my little mini Target haul. I'm probably about to fix me something to eat. Um, I was going to stop by Chick-fil-A, but... I'm just tired of spending money. I feel like as a single parent, you feel like you're always spending money because you're the only person spending money. So we're just going to grab something out of the fridge. Devin had, of course, his usual chili dog. So he's fine. Um, his his palate, because of his autism, doesn't change much. So yeah, he likes what he likes and we just leave it at that. But I'm not eating chili dogs. I'm chili dog out. And I need to put away these three little dishes that are in the sink and um do a load of laundry it's currently 7 11 and i feel like i have a million things to do because i've been lounging all day but hey i give myself grace i work 40 hours a week you know i've been taking Devin to school every morning this week because their bus has been extremely late it's been early it's been on time we just don't know so yeah um yeah so i'm about to put this away and do a couple of more things and then I'm showering and I'm going to bed. <laughs> I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay.